In today's video, we're going to talk about the top three things that you can do to help your fearful and anxious dog. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Denise Mazzola. I'm from Everything Dog. In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the three most important things that you can do to help your nervous, anxious dog. And remember, understanding life from your dog's perspective is vital in helping her. And that's what today's three tips are gonna focus on. If you have nonstop barking in certain situations, if your dog is growling at people that visit your home, maybe they're growling, barking, or even lunging on walks, you probably have a dog that has some fear, some anxiety, and some nervousness. These are the three things that I'm gonna tell you that I want you to do. And think about the things that I'm explaining to you from your dog's perspective. So listen, when your dog is barking, growling, and lunging, they are communicating. They are communicating to the person they're looking at. They're communicating to the dog they're looking at. And what they are communicating is, I want you to go away. I need you to move further away. I need distance. So distance is your friend and it is your dog's friend. So if you have one of these nervous, fearful dogs, you may not just go on a normal neighborhood walk on the sidewalks from point A to point B. You may have to, you're gonna be scanning the environment. Are there people coming at towards me? Okay, I'm gonna walk on the other side of the street. I'm gonna walk up someone's driveway. I'm gonna do whatever I can to give my dog the distance from the thing they're afraid of because that's what they are communicating to me that they need, okay? That's one thing you're gonna do. You're gonna try to pair the scary thing with a fantastic thing, not just an ordinary thing, fantastic think thousands of dollars not just a dollar so you're going to pair the sight of the dog of the person using your distance with super high value food chicken turkey roast beef pre-made meatballs hot dogs cheese uh freeze-dried liver is usually a good one and you want to make this pairing person equals thousands of dollars. Dog equals thousands of dollars. While you're playing with that distance, right? These things are all gonna go together. It's not just do one and not do any of the others. It's best if you do them all together. The third thing I want to bring into your consciousness, I want you to start thinking about it, is your dog has two things. They have an agenda and they have genetics and fear, shy, nervousness, anxiety, 90% or more genetics. It is inherently who your dog is. And those shy, fearful, nervous dogs have a big agenda, and the agenda is to get the heck away from whatever is causing them, their, that's triggering their fear and anxiety. So think about it. From your dog's perspective, they're communicating, get away from me, get away from me. And it's coming from their genetic roots, from who they are. If you have kids, think about your kids. Some of your children are introverted. Some of them are extroverted. And you're not going to make your introverted child or adult child extroverted, nor am I going to make my extroverted daughter introverted. It is who they are. I'm extroverted. I love to be with people. I get energy from people. And other people would just as soon, you know, go off into the woods and be alone and get solitude and that's how they get their energy. So three things I want you to do and I want you to be thinking about these things from your dog's perspective. What is your dog asking for by barking, by growling, by lunging? The number one thing they're asking for is distance. Either help them get away or ask the other people or dogs to move away. Pair the good with the the scary with fantastic. Pair dog with liver treats. Pair person with a marrow bone. You get the idea. If your dog is more toy oriented, then save those special toys for this pairing you're gonna to start to make. And I want you to understand that your dog is behaving 
the way they are from their genetic roots and those genetic roots give them an agenda that we've just talked about, that they want to get away from the things that they're afraid of. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell. You don't wanna miss any of our upcoming videos. And next week, we're gonna talk about some of the causes of fear and anxiety in your dog. So I'll see you next week. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the three best things you can do to help your dog who's suffering from stress and anxiety. If you're not enjoying your walks because you've got growling, barking, maybe you even have some lunging, lunging. Lunging? You just said lunging? <laughs> if you don't hurry up, we're never gonna have lunch. <laughs>